Greetings, fellow interlopers. So let's talk about those pesky base build limits and how to extend them. Now, many of you have written comments on older videos I've done, which talk about this, and you've said that this no longer works, that it was patched. So I did some checking and I'm happy to report that this does still work and essentially functions the same as before. So I'm gonna run through the basics on how to pull this off and more importantly, why this might not be working for you when you tried it out. And just for reference, today is September 8th, 2023. So if you're a newer player, when I say base limits, I'm referring to the point at which your base building menu disappears and you no longer have building rights. This usually falls around 300U from your base computer. To illustrate this, I've put a base computer down and moved out about 300U. You can see right here, I've got full building rights when I'm at 300 or a little bit inside, but when I move outside of the 300, the uh, building menu disappears. So to get the big question out of the way, we all know we can build up to 300U, but how far out can we really go? Well, it's actually a thousand U. And as I'll show you here in a second, you can actually go beyond a thousand, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. So to use a real life example, say you've got a cool build location, and then you start looking around for hotspots, only to find that one is about 2000 U away. So if you've used save beacons, and you've marked your hotspot and your build location, but you have not put your base computer down, you know if you put your base computer in the middle, exactly between the hotspot and your build location, because you can extend a thousand out from your base computer, technically where you're building and that hotspot can be 2000 U away, give or take. Let me go through a quick example of what I mean. So we're on a planet with some oxygen, a little nitrogen, and we wanna have an EMG hotspot to power those. So first things first, we need to identify where those hotspots are. So we'll put a save beacon down where the nitrogen is. I color it yellow just so I can keep it straight. Next up, we've got our oxygen, which I've colored red. And then I measure to see how far away one is from the other. In this case, it's 1052U. So next up, we need to identify where our hotspot is and it's way over here. Don't forget to drop a beacon where the hotspot for your EMG is. Now measure how far away your oxygen and nitrogen are. One thing this game does, it kind of drives me up a wall, is it converts distance into a time when you get so far away. As a given rule, five minutes equals 1260U, but I'm not a big math guy, so I cheat a little bit, and up to a certain point, it's better just to put a one in front of the time, and it converts into roughly the right distance. So now that we've identified all the distances, find the longest side, which is gonna be the 1626, and you're gonna put your base computer right in the middle of, well, in this case, it's the EMG and the oxygen. Knowing that, it's gonna be about 813 on either side, which is comfortably inside our 1000U limitation. So this is how you're able to build a base and also reach all the hotspots you wanna to get to. I can't stress enough that you wanna label all of your stuff before you put your base computer down. Now that we have the planning down, let's take a look at how exactly we stretch out our base limits. So I found a spot on a planet where I've dropped my base computer and I've also labeled all the hotspots that I want to get to. So here we have a nitrogen hotspot and over here we've got an oxygen and here I just deployed our navigational marker for the EMG hotspot. Oh yeah, first things first, I guess we need to quick name our base. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna call in a Exocraft and we're gonna go to the edge of our base limits, which as we talked about earlier is about 300 U. All right, so now we're on the edge and we want to access our build menu and select a large wall or any large building piece. This may not be working for some of you because you're selecting different pieces. And for whatever reason, like a chair or a light, sometimes those don't work. I know some people like to use wires, but but for me, large walls have always worked. And so just try using those. So after you select your large wall, go into your build camera mode. If you're not sure what that is, you wanna click in on a left thumbstick on a controller, or if you're on keyboard, just hit the letter C for camera. As you can see, the camera is now untethered from our body and we can kind of move about freely. It's actually a really great way to build. You wanna to move towards your hotspot until you hit your limit. 
Now you can actually double click on the left thumbstick and it will reset the camera and you can continue moving outward. And you can actually do this a few times. Sometimes it will rubber band you back. So it's best just to build a wall when you can. So as you're building outward with these walls, what you're doing is creating a little bubble that you can build inside of. And that bubble is 50U around that building part. So keep in mind that it's not an alley that you're creating where it's limitless in between your wall and your base computer. Every base part that you build outward has a build bubble. So if you're in between the bubbles of these build parts, you will not get your build menu. I hope that makes sense. Lastly, earlier in the video, I referenced a way to get beyond 1,000. That's just standing on the edge of the 1,000 U limit that you have, and then using your build camera to build outward. You have to keep your body inside that 1,000 U border. The reason it's a pain in the neck is that you no longer have a build bubble anymore. So once you get outside that 1,000, any parts you build beyond 1,000 will not have any kind of build bubble. You've got to do all that building right then and there. So these base parts were about 1,200 from the base computer. Even though I'm standing right next to them, you'll see that I have no build options. That's the difference between being inside the 1,000 and outside. The last piece of advice that I have for you is to do all of this in one sitting. If you go through this process of expanding your limits and you try to come back, you'll find that all the limits will be erased and you'll have to do it all over again. So plan on building everything in one sitting. Another fun part of expanding your base limits is that if you've ever tried to build onto a current settlement, you'll notice that you'll get a restriction. It's kind of frustrating because you've got all this life milling around and you can't really make a base there. Well, you can. Just like our bases, settlements have a 300U build radius as well. But what you can do is go to the edge of that 300, put your base computer down, and then you can use your build camera to build inside of that radius, actually on the grounds of the settlement. So here, I'm just kind of throwing up a building and we can put a landing pad in and everything is on the grounds of the settlement. So that's really cool. And that's gonna do it, folks. Hopefully I've cleared up a lot of the questions that you guys had and maybe some of the difficulty you've had expanding. So real quick, make sure that you are using large base parts, you're doing it all in one sitting, and you are inside the 50U radius of each piece as you move outward. Remember, it's not an alley. They're just controlled bubbles. As always, thanks for watching and have an S-Class day, everybody.